Okay, when you're out there uh, exchanging photos with people, you're eventually going to find pictures somebody's copied with an old copy machine, and nobody knows where the original's at. That's where we get these little lines. So, I'm going to show you how to maybe improve this a little bit. It's really up to you whether you want to try this or not, or just let your eyes kind of blend everything together. So let's rotate this. And something I used to do a long time ago is actually double or triple the size of the image, and then I'd reduce it back down. It seems to blend everything together better. So I'm going to triple the size of this. And let's rescale this. Let's first uh, maybe duplicate this layer. And we're going to work on the background copy. Now, it's really up to you. I found some pictures this works. This helps quite a bit. We come over here to enhance and de-stripe. Uh, it's more for scanners that are giving you trouble, but it helps a little bit in this. Find the baby's face. Now, technically, all we're going to do is try to pull some of the color into the white lines. Don't want to do it too much. Okay, that's pretty good. Before, after. And let's click OK. Okay, really didn't do a lot to it, but that's OK. It's going to help. Now we're going to go in and do some blurring. Come over here to uh, Gaussian Blur. Now we're going to want to blur it horizontal more than uh, vertical. So let's unlock this and just start adding some blurring. Now you're seeing the black lines are now kind of turning into dotted lines, so we need to add a little vertical blurring. Maybe need a little more horizontal. A little more vertical. Yeah, the baby's face is starting to come in. We don't want to do too much. So the more we do, the less detail we'll have. So, let's click OK. Well, here's before. Here's after. Click OK. Now, that really brought in some more detail to the face. This is before. 
This is after. It's not a great job, but I think it's a little better. So, now, now that I've done my editing, let's go and bring back down the size of the image. It's going to kind of help sharpen it up. Okay, there's our image. Now let's maybe play with the colors a little bit. So we come over here, go to levels. Now usually it's on this uh, linear histogram, but for this image I actually prefer the logarithmic histogram. Really shows you where the colors are at. So let's uh, drag that over. We don't want to actually hit all the way. Yeah, technically this is bringing back in the lines we blurred out, but it's not as bad as it was. And I think that really helped with the face. So let's click OK. Now if you wanted to really make sure everything's straight, we can go in here to the straightening tool. And right there's probably your straightest line. So let's go over here to the tool options, maybe add a Add some lines till this uh, matches up. Actually, there's not enough there to line up, so let's go ahead and try for this chair. I guess it's a chair. And let's click Rotate. Okay, there we've got it. Let's uh, compare before and after. There's before. And there's after. So it's up to you which you prefer. But that's a little better. Too bad I don't know where the original picture is. It'd be a, a lot nicer addition. But, like always, enjoy.